Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. This is going to be the second video in the OpenCV video tutorial series. Uh, in this video, we're going to redo the same program as in the first tutorial, which will identify and track a red ball. But here, we're going to use the OpenCV2 functions, which are written in C++ and are object-oriented. Uh, this video is going to refer to the previous video and build on the knowledge from the, the first video. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that, I'd suggest going back and check it out now and then come back to this video once you've seen the first one. Uh, if you'd rather um, download the code as opposed to typing it in as we go, I'll post the code to www.18f4550.com if you prefer to download it. Uh, before we get to writing the program, let's take a quick look at another demonstration. So here's the program that we'll have when we're done. Again, it's the same program as in the first one. Um, it simply follows a ball or other circular shape object. Um, the way the colors are set so far is to follow red, but you can change it to any color you like as, as you go. Uh, we'll get to that in the program momentarily. Um, the algorithm here is not fancy or elaborate. It's really kind of a plain and simple down and dirty way to achieve object recognition and motion tracking. So let's take a quick uh, look at the overview of the program and then we'll get to writing it. So here are some of the objects and functions that we're going to use in our second video tutorial. Um, you're going to notice that these are very similar to and in fact parallel the um, structures and functions used with the OpenCV1 functions in the previous tutorial. Uh, we're going to use the CV video capture object. This is going to be um, our object to capture our webcam stream of images. Uh, then we're going to use the CV uh, mat object, which is short for matrix. This is the object you use for all images. And we're also going to use um, a standard template library uh, vector, and then also an iterator to step through the vector. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, standard template library uh, vectors and iterators, <clears throat> go ahead and do a, maybe a Google search on that or reference a C++ book that you might have around. Um, those are pretty common use uh, standard template library objects. And here's some of the OpenCV2 uh, functions that we're going to use. We're going to use uh, named window. This declares a window. It doesn't automatically show it. Uh, we're going to use video capture. Uh, this is going to get the next frame from the webcam. And we're going to use CV in range. This is uh, similar to in range S from the previous uh, program. It uh, takes an input image um, and then also an output image. And the output is passed by reference. And two CV scalar objects. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the minimum and maximum color ranges uh, via those scalar objects, and then the function is going to filter out uh, everything within that range. We're also going to call CV Gaussian Blur. This will perform a Gaussian Blur on the resulting image from in range. It, it works out better if after calling in range if you blur it before you call hue circles, which will be the next function. And uh, this is a function that locates the circles in the processed image and sets the second argument to the circles found in the image. And lastly, we'll call CV circle. Uh, we'll call this twice, in fact. Uh, this draws uh, a circle on the image. And so the first time we'll call, us, uh, call CV circle, and we're going to draw a three pixel radius small green circle at the center point of the located object. And then the second time, we'll draw a red circle around the located object. All right, now we're ready to start code. So first thing we'll do is make our new project. So we'll call this Tracker 10. Save it in the usual directory. Create directory for a solution. Make sure to choose 132 console application. OK. Next, we don't want a pre-compiled header. Empty project. Make sure console application is chosen. And we can right-click on Tracker 10 here, add new item. C++ file, and we might as well make the file the same name as the project, track 10. And now we get to our property sheet in Property Manager. And here's where it's nice having property sheets. We can simply reuse the property sheet from the previous program. So the previous program was Tracker 7. So we'll simply go to Tracker 7, Tracker 7 and then copy my OpenCV prop sheet dot props 
then we'll go to tracker 10, tracker 10, paste it. Now we can go back into our program and right click on debug 132. Note that we have debug set in the toolbar up here, so we want to be consistent there. And then we're going to go to add existing property sheet. Tracker 10, tracker 10, my open CV prop sheet dot props. And we don't have to do anything else with our property sheet. It's already done for us since we imported it. There's the include in library and then in linker. There's the input and additional dependencies from last time. It's all still there. So if we choose save, and that's all we need to do to configure our project to use our OpenCV install. Now we're ready to start writing our code. Now with the OpenCV2 uh, functions, they're very friendly as far as recognizing um, if an image is color or grayscale. And if you haven't set the image a certain way, the OpenCV2 functions generally will handle that for you correctly. If you really wanted to specify it, here's how you would do it uh, with the constructor when you declare the object. So you'd pass in uh, 480 comma 640, that's 640 by 480. And then you would uh, use the constant here, CV8UC1, since this is going to be a black and white image. So here we have the width, the height, and then CV8U is for 8-bit unsigned, and then C1 is for channel 1. That's a grayscale image. If we wanted to have a color image, that would be C3. But the thing is, OpenCV, it would look just like that. The thing is, OpenCV really is going to handle that for us, so we really don't even need to specify that. You're going to see it's going to work just fine without it. So now we're going to declare a uh, standard template library a vector and then an iterator to step through the vector. And we'll get to that later. So this is going to be similar to the previous program. This is going to be a three element vector of floats. And this is going to be the pass by reference output of the call to hue circles. Now we're ready for iterator.
and that's going to end the program. And let's cross our fingers here, see if I made any typos. see a bunch of red lines, so I must have made at least a few. So there it is, I missed a bracket. And all those red lines are gone now. Let's try to compile again. And there we go. So let's go ahead and test our program. And there you have it. Works great. So now we've achieved uh, quick and easy down and dirty object recognition and motion tracking in OpenCV using the OpenCV2 functions. Congratulations! You now know how to perform basic object recognition and motion tracking in OpenCV using the OpenCV2 functions. Some of the upcoming OpenCV video tutorials I have planned are an OpenCV compile from source video, an OpenCV use with MGUCV video, an OpenCV use with QT video, and eventually uh, an OpenCV uh, vision program and also USB motor control program in the same project. See everybody next time.